engineering, especially in my area of communications, is a very rapidly changing area. The useful half-life of engineers is typically a relatively small number of years. And so when I teach, I don't teach very specific things. I don't teach about specific communication systems. I teach concepts and, and principles so that they hopefully will apply and remain with the student. Well, Larry has a lot of qualities that make him a terrific professor. Uh, first of all, he really knows his stuff. He's been responsible for teaching the graduate level communications course uh, for over 35 years. He has decades of research experience and long-standing interactions with researchers in industry and government labs. When the student graduates, what I look for most is that they have levels of independence on their own as independent researchers, in particular so that they can function if they want to as an academic at a university or as a researcher in a government or industrial lab. With respect to uh, st students that I teach but who don't go on to do research, may not go on to get a PhD, what I really want to prepare them for is a lifelong career in engineering. He's a very approachable guy and so he attracts very strong graduate students and postdocs. In fact, he's graduated 55 PhDs, more than that. And many of them have gone on to very distinguished careers. Uh, in industry and academia. I mean, they include founders of successful local startups, uh, technical leaders at some of the big name telecoms, and faculty members at uh, major universities actually around the world. They have a research topic. They're working on it for the past week or sometimes two weeks. They'll give me a write-up in advance. I will read the write-up and I'll mark it up with questions that I have. And when we meet one-on-one, -on -one, we walk through each and every question. Larry's teaching philosophy is quite simple. He believes in the importance of learning the fundamentals. His extensive knowledge on wireless communication theory and search expertise make is, is quite outstanding. I think one of the many things that make him uh, an outstanding professor is his attention to detail. He wants to know how it affects every single block and how our changes affect every component of the signal and noise and filters. So we go through every step in detail. This is not very common in wireless research and I think this is one reason why Larry's work is um, amongst the best. The most important thing I think that makes Larry an outstanding professor is that he loves teaching. He's actually entitled to teach fewer courses because he runs and supports a very large research group and he shoulders way more than his share of university and professional service. But he almost always teaches a full load of undergraduate and graduate classes. Typically with most of our students, and I think this is almost everywhere, Initially, the advisor leads the student, but if a student is really good, by the end of the dissertation, the student is really leading the advisor, and that's what you want.